Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. In this video, I want to take a close look at some new flow cards that we've added to Homey. And these might be really useful if you're trying to create a better smart home for yourself. So I want to make you aware that you have these tools at your disposal if you're a Homey user. So for example, I have here NetAtmos Home Coach. And the Home Coach is a great tool for measuring the environmental data of a room you put it in. I've created a quick flow to show off how this works. So I'm gonna head into my flows and I'll select high CO2 level. This flow is meant to warn me for high CO2 levels in my home office. Now you'll see straight off the bat that the when card is the CO2 becomes greater than 1500 parts per million. And that 1500, you can actually change. That's your threshold value. Now the great thing about this flow card is that when that threshold value is exceeded, the flow will trigger. And after that, the flow will remain dormant until let's say the sensor value has gone below the threshold and then exceeds it again, let's say on the next day or a couple weeks later. And that's a great way of having alarms or so go off dependent on sensor values. So for example, this alarm will go off when that CO2 level goes above 1500. And for my then event, I basically have an alarm play on my Sonos and I have the light flash. Now let's hit test just to show you this in action. Now you'll hear the alarm and the light will start blinking. Now the other flow cards I want to show off today are actually associated with our Sonos here. And the Sonos app had a few new additions added to it that should make your life a little bit more easier and allow you to really utilize your Sonos speakers a little bit better around your smart home. Now I should mention that this is really only available for newer generation Sonos devices. And a quick rule of thumb is that if they have touch sensitive buttons on the top to control volume, pause, play, then those are the newer generation. So these should work for those devices. Now let me show you the flow cards I'm talking about. If I head into my doorbell has been rang flow, and that uses here the NetAtmo video doorbell. Now you'll see that the when event is when the doorbell has been rung. And one key thing to note about this device is there's no indoor chime that comes with it. So there's no way of telling if someone's at the door if you don't have your phone on you at the time. Now, this is a great way of using Homey and Sonos combined to notify you that someone's at the door with an audio sound. So let's head to the Den cards. Now you'll see here two cards, very simple. There's one to play a sound and that's doorbell four at a volume of 40%. Now let's head into this flow card. You'll see that there's a sound section and there's actually a whole bunch of pre-installed sounds that come with the Sonos app. Now you can always set the volume of your Sonos. So just use the slider here. And the other thing that we've added is a quick text to speech that you can use for Sonos. So you can basically have your Sonos device say any sentence or string of words that you want. So you can have your Sonos say, hey kids, come down for dinner. Or you can say, someone is at the door. That's what I'm using when the doorbell has been pressed. So you'll see that you can just edit the text field here and set the volume. Now you can also use tags in your text field if you wanna, for instance, mention someone's name, if that person has just come home, you can have Homie welcome them home. Now let me quickly show you this in action by pressing the doorbell. Someone is at the door. So you'll have heard the doorbell sound and my Sonos say someone is at the door. And obviously you can customize this to your taste. So if you didn't like the sound of that doorbell, choose from a couple of the others. Now those are as standard set up with the Sonos app, but you can go a little bit further. I actually have a detailed video on Sonos and Sonos speakers where I introduce the Soundboard app. And the Soundboard app pretty much allows you to download and use custom MP3 files to your choosing. So if you don't like our pre-selection of sounds, you can go in, download your own custom sounds and hook those up to flows around your smart home. Now I wanna show off one last flow. You might have seen it already while I was browsing through my flows here. And I've just called it Om Nom Nom. Let me hit play. And so that's the Cookie Monster. 
You could, for instance, set this up with a quick door window sensor if you've got one placed on your fridge. Then when someone opens the fridge, you can have that sound play. Now I hope that I've helped make you a bit more aware of the flow card possibilities that you can start using with Homey. And sometimes these updates are sort of done on the backside of things. So Homey's being updated constantly. And we're adding new flow cards to certain apps. Also developers themselves might be adding new flow cards. And sometimes it's interesting to stay on top of these things. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna really stay in touch and make the most of your Homey experience.